Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. Through your goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth has given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. Through your goodness we have this wine to offer. Fruit of the vine, work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Let us pray that our offering of Eucharist today may be acceptable to God, our Almighty Father. Father, inflame our hearts with the spirit of your love as we present these gifts on the feast of St. Alphonsus, who dedicated his life to you through the Eucharist. We ask this in the name of Jesus, our Lord. The Lord be with you. Absolutely. Lift up your hearts. Amen. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Amen. Father, all powerful and ever living God, we do well always and everywhere to give you thanks. You give the church this feast in honor of St. Alphonsus Liguori. You inspire us by his holy life, instruct us by his preaching, and give us your protection in answer to his prayers. We join the angels and saints as they sing their unending hymn of praise. the fountain of all holiness. Let your spirit come upon these gifts to make them holy, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. Before he was given up to death, a death he freely accepted, he took bread and gave you thanks. He broke that bread, gave it to his disciples and said, take this all of you and eat it. This is my body which will be given up for you. When supper was ended, he took the cup. Again, he gave you thanks and praise, gave the cup to his disciples and said, take this, all of you, drink from it. This is the cup of my blood, the blood of the new and everlasting covenant. It will be shed for you and for all so that sins may be forgiven. Do this in memory of me. Let us proclaim this mystery of faith. Christ has died. In memory of his life, death, and resurrection, we offer you, Father, this life-giving bread, this saving cup. We thank you for counting us worthy to stand in your presence and serve you. May all of us who share in the body and blood of Christ be brought together in unity by the Holy Spirit. Lord, remember your church throughout the world. Make us grow in love together with Benedict, our Pope, and all our bishops. Remember our brothers and sisters who have gone to their rest in the hope of rising again. 
Bring them and all the departed into the light of your presence. Have mercy on us all. Make us worthy to share eternal life with Mary, the Virgin Mother of God, with the apostles and with all the saints who have done your will throughout the ages. May we praise you in union with them and give you glory through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, Almighty Father, forever and ever. And now let us pray to God as Jesus taught his disciples to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil, and grant us peace in our day. In your mercy, keep us free from sin, and protect us from all anxiety, as we wait in joyful hope for the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, I leave you peace, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your Church and grant us the peace and unity of your kingdom where you live forever and ever. May the peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer one another the peace of the Lord. of the earth, work of human hands, become for us the body and blood of the risen Christ. Blessed are we invited to communion with him. Lord, I am not worthy to receive you, but only say the word and I shall be healed. Would those of you at home join with me now in this prayer for peace by Pope Pius XII. Almighty and eternal God, may our grace enkindle in all of us a love for the many unfortunate people whom poverty and misery reduce to a condition of life unworthy of human beings. Arouse in the hearts of those who call you Father a hunger and thirst for justice and peace and for fraternal charity in deeds and in truth. Grant, O Lord, peace in our days peace to souls, peace to families, peace to our country, and peace among nations. Amen. Amen. 